Okay, so hello everyone. Today I will show you a quick trick that I found on my uh, TI Inspire CX Cast calculator. Okay. Um. So as you can see, it's the uh, it's the mo it's the Model X, the hardware Model X. So it's relatively new. So it actually works I think on all models and all software versions even though I'm running 4.4 or so on this one um, so you can use this though I don't recommend I'm just showing it because it's very interesting uh, you can theoretically use this to cheat in, in classes or exams uh, so maybe something worth fixing for TI Inspire or for you to use um, because anyways you know exams are not the best way you know they're, they're, they're pretty moral sometimes not not exactly the best way to, uh, to test your abilities so I don't really agree with them but anyways we'll see the uh, we'll see the, the exploit or the vulnerability we have so first of all you just turn on calculator if it turns on there we go and I don't know if I'm in press to test mode right now I am okay I am in press to test mode already uh, so this is essentially what you have to do you have to put it in press to test mode um, which which you can do pretty easily let me just see press to test. Yeah, you, you, you turn the device off, press and hold ask and home keys, while ask and home are pressed, turn on, and then you can just do confirm the, the thing, set radiance, and more settings. Anyways, so here's the calculator. What you do is before the exam, let's just theoretically say you want to cheat, before the exam, you, uh, you put it into exam mode before, right at home, now you can use the USB function to upload your files, your cheating files, whatever. And this will only work if, if, you're, if your school does it the following way, does the check the following way. Um, so, so first uh, they see that it's not in press to test mode. So you have to show it, you know, like this. Press to test mode. So you have to show it, you know, like this. Right, and it's not blinking, so they say okay. Then you sit down, and they do another check after you've put it into your uh, your your press to test mode. They say it's in press to test mode. It's blinking. They say okay, go ahead. Right. So, anyways, at home, you you put your files on while it's in press to test mode. Then you keep your files, and then here comes the the tricky part, which I've discovered. You simply turn it off like this. And now you will see that uh, that the light is still blinking, so you can't pass it off as not being in press to test mode. But what you can do normally, the this this right here would uh, reset it and restart it. But if you hold it just correctly, it's it takes uh, three or four seconds. Correctly do it. You hold it so with a pen or something and if you held it correctly you should get it to stop blinking without actually you know turning on the calculator again and for it to start blinking so you go in your files are already there it's in press to test mode you go in you show it you know it's not in test mode right um, and then once you're in your seat you simply press it and it's gonna start again I may have to press it a few times um, it's gonna start again and whoa it's in press to test mode but you didn't actually put it in press to test mode now it only seems that you did and you will have all of your files there that you put in press to test mode this doesn't delete your files so this is kind of how you can cheat or trick the examiners uh, but don't do it 
because that's bad. Don't cheat. Um, but it's very interesting this this hardware trick here. It's extremely interesting. Uh, why it works, I don't know. I think it's a hardware vulnerability. So, anyways, um, you can you can test this out for yourself. Um, but this is this is practically it, right? So. Thank you for watching, I guess. Okay, bye.